to attend to. Huh? Was that was today? Yes, after that you have decorum. Gosh, Diana, how long have I been sleeping anyways? About four hours. Four hours? Why didn't you wake me, Miss Utena? You looked so cute and peaceful, Anthe. To be honest, I couldn't bring myself to disturb you. <laughs> Utena! Miss! I'm sorry. Miss Utena, please don't tease me like that. Who said I was teasing you? I'm really... I'm not really anything special. I'm just the Rose Bride. <laughs> I'm clumsy, and I can't do anything right, and my magical abilities are so weak I can't even fly. I'm not that refined or ladylike. I have no charisma. This does not describe Anthony, this is, though. This is, uh, that was an incorrect characterization. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> There's no way I could lead this country. I know what they say. all say about me. I'm a failure of a princess. Diana strokes the princess's head gently. It's okay, Princess Serenity. They don't know you like I do. You're That's wonderful. Better. That's more accurate. You don't have to lie to me, Diana. Huh? I'm not. I really do believe that from the bottom of my heart. You're clever and creative. You have a kind, warm heart and beauty to match. I'm truly proud to call myself your knight, Rose Quartz. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like... Throwing in all of these magical girl things. <laughs> Just and, yeah, my favorite magical girl, Steven Universe. Yeah? Yeah. Diana. <laughs> Pearl. <laughs> Even if the entire world was against you, I will always stand by your side. Yeah, that's Pearl. Valerie, stop clinging to me! Oh, check out that juxtaposition. Ah, let me go! I open my eyes to a very disheveled Diana. I love the details in her room. Like, she has the necklaces hanging up there and yeah. stuff. Yeah. <sighs> huh, what happened? You passed out. Huh? How long was I asleep? About two hours. Ethan and Sophie are staring at the box thing in the living room. They were worried about you. Me too. A little. <laughs> uh, anyways, don't you think you should get more rest? I'm fine, I'm fine. It passed, don't worry. Winky face, are you sure? Don't worry about me. I had a good sleep now. I feel energized. I say with no energy. <laughs> Valerie! Val, are you sure it's okay to be up? Don't worry. Don't worry. You don't, you guys, you don't worry too much. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I had a nice nap. Now I'm roaring to go. That's my favorite thing in the not typos. You should go back and get some rest, Val. That's what I said. She insists that she's fine, though. I am fine. Sophie puts her face uncomfortably close to mine. Gay. Gay. And stares intently. Well, she doesn't have a fever, and she looks rather healthy. See? Anyways, I'm tired of being indoors. I'd rather go outside now. Huh? <sighs> are you are you all okay with this? 
Knowing Val, she won't take no for an answer and probably will go off anyways. We might as well keep her company, right? Besides, some fresh air might do her good. Let's go! To the mall! I skip merrily with my friends, humming to myself. I'm not sure why, but I feel unbelievably nice after that nap. Aww. Absolutely. Or they'll make you feel worse. Yeah, There's no uh, in-between. I guess she wasn't lying when she said she felt fine. Unbelievable. She cute. She has such a cute outfit. Yeah. Hey, where are we getting to, where are we getting to eat? Me. Burgers? Or how about tacos? Same. Even more Me. same. I heard there's a new cafe open downtown with amazing cakes. Cake? But you live in a bakery. Shut the fuck up, Diana. Right? I eat cake. I eat that cake all the time, though. Sometimes I want to eat other people's cakes. It's different, not just the recipes, but the feelings behind it. I'm not sure how to describe it, but you can feel the personality of the chef behind it. Plus, Mama gets mad at me if I eat too much of the merchandise. Figures. Sounds like a good idea to me. I'd like to stop off at the craft store while we're there. Oh. So we have an agreement? Art friend? Got Yay! art friend, nerd friend, cat friend. <laughs> Three normal friends. Which are you, audience at home? Are you the art friend, or the nerd friend, or, or the, the cat, cat friend? friend? I am the cat friend. <laughs> the four of us go wait at bus stop when I notice someone decked out Lolita. Who could it be? Ah! It's Purple Girl. Hmm? Valerie? Whoa. I've seen the ladies online, but I've never seen that anyone dress like that in real life. You saw her like yesterday? Yeah, you saw her yesterday. Alright. She looks, she's absolutely stunning. I've seen someone else. Like but... a living porcelain. It's not. Yeah, it's not. So. I can tell just by looking like her that she must be a very. She's thing. not. She's not. She's not. I love her all the <laughs> Familiar though. You saw her yesterday. You saw her yesterday. Oh. What? Why are you staring at me like that? I'm sorry. Um, have we met before? I'm sorry. I don't recall we have. Then it hit me. She appeared and left so quickly that there's no way I can forget someone as flashy as that. That's the girl who stole my magazine yesterday. Ah! You're the hero <laughs> from yesterday! Valerie! Oh my! How embarrassing that we had to meet like Look at that! Her eyes. Oh my god, I love her! I love how I love the heights of the characters. I love Yay. how they have different heights. Me too. I'm deeply sorry for my extremely rude behavior. I didn't consider the consequences of my actions or the trouble it would cause others. Ah. <laughs> she is doing that pose. Yeah, she is. Ah, that pose. Yeah, you know the pose. Mm -hmm. Would this be enough to pay for your magazine? I wonder if she has a big brother. Big, <laughs> big brother. <laughs> Everything just comes back to <laughs> everything comes back into the garbage. Sorry. She hands me a roll of money. Far too much for a simple magazine. Ooh, a complex magazine. <laughs> this girl must be super rich. Uh, this is way too much. It's fine. Consider an act of goodwill towards others. Uh, somehow I feel a bit ashamed of myself. I'm sorry too for yelling and calling you a weirdo. Thank you. An expensive looking car pulls up and the driver exits holding the door open. Well then, it looks like my ride has arrived. Excuse me. Before they drive off, however, the girl lets down the window and turns to me. Oh yes, Miss Redhead! I found you you to be a quite interesting person. Yay, I know, right? <laughs> I'd like to speak with you again someday. After you've brushed up on your etiquette! Oh shit! Good day! Oh, oh shit! Oh. There's too many like Ojo sounds. Oh. There's too many fucking Ojo sounds. <laughs> bye bye! 
F Valerie, somehow I get the feeling she wasn't complimenting you. Huh? Huh? Hey! Crap! I hope hey. it's That's not G-rated. Yes, it is. Is it? Yes. Did they say crap in a fork and stuff. They what? They have. Have they? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Not like often. <laughs> Was she looking down on me the whole time? Yes. Okay, fine. Plenty of people would have been upset after being called a weirdo, but I said I was sorry. Who does she think she is? It probably comes with the package. Rich folks are always rich folks are always stuck up know-it-alls. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I tell you what. I tell you what. I it tell you what. Anyways, we'll probably never see her again. Don't let it bother you too much. <laughs> no, Ethan's just country now. <laughs> he just is. Sorry. What? Look at oh these my fucking god! posters. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's oh. hilarious. That is. That is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> this place has and a just nice the ones she picked. Yeah. She just picked like a fucking horse. <laughs> Choose one. <laughs> Should I get what should I get? My mouth is watering just thinking about it. I get to choose that would be the best. I think I'd like shrimp and mushroom pasta. I just want a burger. <laughs> I think I want. Oh my yes! god, you got to choose! Okay. She's something on. different. Okay. Can't be like, that sounds good. You don't get to know what it is. Okay. And for dessert, crepes and a lava cake sounds nice too. Oh, and maybe some donuts. And that strawberry shortcake looks amazing. <laughs> and... Valerie, are you sure you can eat all that? Don't doubt my powers. Oh boy, you ain't even seen the beginning. <laughs> Valerie's appetite. Hey, hey kids at home, are you the southern accent friend, the British accent friend, or the cat friend? <laughs> I'm the cat friend. <laughs> Valerie's appetite is a force to be reckoned with. There have been years of scientific research dedicated to unraveling the mysteries behind this incredible phenomenon. By me, of course. <laughs> oh, oh. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I'm sure I will solve this case soon. Oh, you guys are embarrassing me. I wasn't really complimenting you. I was. I think it's, it's fascinating and impressive. Thanks, Sophie. It's weird. It's weird is what it is. It's funny and cute. Wow, Sophie, you want to get gay? Yeah, but you say the same thing about lizards. <laughs> because lizards are cute. They're creepy. They're charming and nice. They're disgusting and they do that weird thing with their tongues. It's awful. Wait, are we still talking about Valerie? Obviously. 
obviously bad just must have happened. It must have happened. Happened bad. Happened bad. It might have been. It might have even been the reason for her snobby attitude earlier, or she could just be like that. Mm. If that's the case, I can't really blame her. Huh? What's wrong? I wrap up the a piece of cake and go <laughs> out the door. Wait, Valerie. Valerie. I'll be right back. Great, this is a conversation with me and myself. <laughs> hey! Oh, it's you again! She quickly wipes her eyes and regains her composure. Oh, yeah, and they're both, like, high-pitched girl voices. Aw, oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck! Yep, great. <laughs> with my voice, great. <laughs> go on. Oh, you didn't see oh she looked like she was crying. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Are you okay? Want to share some cake with me? This is really good! Isn't it? I got it from the cafe down the street. We should go together sometime. Ah, oh, I never caught your name, did I? My name's Valerie. It's nice to meet you. My name is Clover. It's a pleasure. We sit in silence for a while, eating cake. Hey! How would you feel if someone you cared about gave up on their dreams and happiness for the sake of your own. Asking for a friend. <laughs> That's a really deep <laughs> question. Just answer the question. I wouldn't like that. I'd be flattered, but that's a really huge decision to make. And it, and that would make me, and would that make really make me happy? I think I'd probably be much happier if the person I cared about was happy, too. I see. Of course, no one should sacrifice their own happiness like that, right? There shouldn't be another way we could both be happy. Why should one person have to give up their dreams? It's not fair. You seem to have a pretty strong feelings on the subject. Oh, it's probably about that fucking model. Oh, 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 it's her sister. So, maybe that is her sister. My sister. She gave up on her dream for me. Oh, I bet it is. She wanted oh. to be a superstar, oh. a role model for girls to feel proud of who they are. She was really close, but she suddenly just threw all that effort away. Oh. I suddenly remember that day in the mall. Is it possible? Is your sister the supermodel Lotus Brevillian? Yeah. We both have flower names, so you can tell. Yeah. Uh, I hope that's their real last name, because then she's rich and her last name is Vermillion. Oh my god. Ah! Okay. I quickly smack my hands over my mouth before I start screaming or something. If Lotus is her sister, that would mean sitting right beside me is a member of the famous Vermilion family. I feel a bit starstruck and dizzy. You're not that famous if you didn't know <laughs> she was there. Yeah. Well, she's not a supermodel anymore. Now she's the future CEO of Vermilion Corporations. Can't do both. Nobody told... Nobody told me anything, you know. The first time I ever heard about it was from that stupid magazine. I hardly ever watched television either, and my servants insisted they knew nothing. She hasn't been home all month, so I couldn't ask her myself. I finally lost all my patience and went to talk to her today. When I finally got an answer for, out of her, she said that... She... Oh, all she said was that she was trying to protect me. Oh. She knew I'd be upset, yet she did it anyway. How could she say it was to protect oh. me? I... This isn't what I wanted. I didn't want any of this. Oh? What a lovely despair in your heart. Oh, it's me again. Oh, it's, it's you me again! again. It's you. <laughs> do you... Do you need help, or do you think you no, have I it? No, I Okay, you got it. What? Who are you? <laughs> Another high obnoxious voice. My name is Onyx. <laughs> Sorry, but I'll be taking that heart jewel of yours. Clover's body begins to levitate as Onyx tries to extract something from her chest. <laughs> Clover! <laughs> Damn it, why is this heart jewel so 
So um, um, oh, sorry. Gosh, dig the target! <laughs> Why is this heart jewel so difficult to take out? He releases Clover and examines the area. Clover! Oh, I bet it's her sister. Clover! Yes! Hmm, this one will do just fine then. Huh? Body is encased in crystal. Clover scrambles to Lotus's crystal prison and desperately tries to break her free with no avail. This would be a really good time for you to transform, right? Lotus! Lotus! Oh, somebody else is gonna transform. <laughs> May the darkness in your heart go wild! I'm sensing a catchphrase! Nightmare! she has left and kneels beside me. She places her hands above me slightly, transferring a cool energy into my body. So not only is she the super strong one, she's the healing, healing one. OP. Jeez. Diamond! Diamond, hang in there! Is that the best you two have to offer? How boring. I figured since two of you gave o the two of you gave Opal such a such trouble. This would be a bit more interesting. I guess I was mistaken. Nightmare, finish them off. No! Why are you doing this? Don't you think you have do already done enough? Why? Is it any of your concern? Clover, run away! No! I won't leave! Clover! Hmm, you're not afraid of my nightmare? Of course I am. I'm terrified. I'm so scared out of my mind, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. However, I will fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I never had any friends to look out for me, and Father is never around. Father? The only person who was ever there for me was Lotus. But today, for the first time, I felt a moment, felt for a moment what it's like to have a friend. Oh. And I don't want that taken away from me. Is it really worth risking your life over? How idiotic. No, I won't die. I have too much money to die. <laughs> <laughs> One person does, doesn't have to suffer for the sake of another. Everyone has dreams worth fighting for. For the sake of that happiness. I won't give up without a fight. A familiar light. She do the miracle link. One <laughs> <laughs> I love it. One is a 
that unpleasant, what is this unpleasant light? No way, that girl is, this is, I understand. Crystal Heart Revolution. Ah, the shining crystal of fantasy and starlight. Magical warrior Amethyst Heart. Happiness is something that must be shared with everyone. Lotus, wait for me. I'll make sure to bring you back. Oh, she and has stars in her hair, too. Oh, nice. She's so cute. Oh, she's got clovers. Yeah. Another one. Maybe this one will be more of a challenge. Go, Nightmare. Amethyst barely manages to evade the Nightmare's attack. She whirls around and shoots a flurry of sh and, and shoots a flurry of shooting stars <laughs> at the nightmare, knocking it over. What the? Amethyst strikes from behind, sending the monster flying. Time to finish this. Amethyst mallet. <laughs> yes. yes. She raises her hand to the sky, summoning an oversized hammer weapon. Amethyst Starlight Explosion! The nightmare dissolves away, and the damage that was done vanishes back to normal. <laughs> How interesting. I won't forget this, Crystal Warriors. I won't forget this, you Sailor Scouts. <laughs> he snaps his fingers and teleports away. Yeah, this guy's a lot less embarrassing than <laughs> Opal. Yeah. Clover runs over runs to her sister as she just released prison. Lotus! Wake up! Mm. Clover? Did I fall asleep? Clover breaks down into tears, clinging to her older sister as if her life depended on it. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm... I... No! I'm sorry for not talking to you first and keeping secrets. Are you Canadian? <laughs> I'm sorry. The, ver the, the famous vermilion, the maple syrup, and the maple syrup airs of Nova Scotia. You know I was only trying to pretend. <laughs> That's not it. Every <laughs> accent you do just goes back into Scottish somehow. <laughs> that wasn't, it wasn't even there yet. It was going to be there. <laughs> we both know. You know I was only trying to protect you. Lotus gently wipes away her sister's tears. Now you're free to live whatever life you want. That's all I ever wanted. But... But what about your dream? My dream is to be able to inspire other girls and show them that anything is possible. That you can be who you want to be. B-A-R-B-I-E. I can still do that, you know? I may not be a supermodel anymore, but I can make our father's company shine brighter than ever before. And I'm still an astronaut and a race car driver and a horse tamer. <laughs> don't you think that's pretty inspiring, too? And don't worry, I'll still make time to spend with you. However, it looks like you already made so many new friends. I should probably be the one who's worried. <laughs> yeah, you should. Lotus's eyes are so beautiful. They're like mostly red, but they also have a little bit of blue in them. It's really yeah. pretty. I'm glad everything worked out for them. What a beautiful family. Yeah, TBH. They are so pretty. <laughs> oh, they both have moles too. Aww. Watching them makes me feel happy too. From the bottom of my heart. Instead of the top of my heart. <laughs> From the bottom up, not the top down. Okay, it's the bottom. Okay, we're gonna... Great.